Hey guys, it's Mike from Rebuild Stuff. Uh, this is just a really quick update video on getting your buttons to work on your finished arcade. If you are using Recall Box. Okay, so you've got your buttons all wired. It's all in here, kind of like that last video. You remember my giant mess of wires? I'll make a nice video later that cleans it up. But it's all wired in to the GPIO headers. But you can't get anything to work once you've installed Recall Box and all that. The only thing that maybe you can get working is your keyboard. So that's just going through on the keyboard. So what you need to do, uh, you press F4 on a keyboard to quit. And that's gonna bring you to a blank screen. Um, so to get to your terminal, now you need to press Alt F2, Alt F2, and that brings you over to here. It asks you to log in. Now, mine says Bearded Fury Login because you know Bearded Fury. Uh, this is just the name of mine. So I need to go to page eight. This is from directly printed out from the PDF on my website. I keep it handy so I don't forget everything. Uh, the login is gonna be the same on everybody unless you somehow changed it. You need to type in root, press enter, and then it's gonna ask you for a password. Okay, the password here is recall box root. Enter, and then you're greeted with a hashtag or number sign. From there you need to type in nano recall box dot c o n f and press enter and you're going to be greeted with all of these settings here that you can change now you need to scroll down and find on here somewhere your gpio settings so i'm just using my keyboard scrolling down scrolling down looking for controllers there we go and here we are at gpio controllers now, sorry, I've got the light on. I know it's hard to see on the screen. Uh, so you need to make sure that this setting right here, see that? Controllers GPIO enabled equals one. If it says zero, your joysticks, if they are connected directly to the GPIO headers, will do nothing. So make sure that is one. So I've already had this set up for mine, but when you first boot it up, it'll look something like this. It'll be a zero. So you need to change that to a one. You can also change anything else here. If you want to have two players, make sure you have set it up for one and two players. If it only has a one and you want two players, do one comma two. Pretty simple. If you plan on hooking up something like an Xbox uh, wired controller to it as well, so you can use the analog stick and stuff, you can change that here. Uh, let me just make sure that's focused. Controllers Xbox drive enabled equals one or zero or whatever it is that you want. If you want it turned on, you press a one. And you can do that for a whole bunch of other types of controllers here that have been supported. Here's another cool trick I use. Um, when I'm setting these out or renting them or sending them over to friends, I don't want them screwing around with any of my system settings. So I set it to only bar top mode. Uh, that gives you a limited main menu in your main front end. Uh, and I'll show you the difference between that in a second. But I leave mine on bar top. If you actually want to be able to change your settings for your joysticks, you need to leave it on default. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now it says default. Make sure I press save. Yes, I'm gonna save. And reboot. And it'll reboot in a moment. Okay, so I've rebooted. I'm back to my main screen. If I press enter now on my keyboard, it should bring up this. There's a main menu with a whole bunch of settings you can scroll through with your arrow keys. To set up your controllers, you need to go controller settings. And what happens if you press enter? Watch this. Nothing, because it's got some weird mapping thing that is built into recall box. Let's see if I can remember. A, you pr press A. I guess that's for choosing. So you'd go to configure a controller, press A again. You're going to configure a controller if you only have one, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna press A again. It has now detected two game pads. That's referring to player one and player two. So you go there, hold your A button on your device to configure it. So if I wanna do player one first, I'm just gonna press a button. 
and then it gives me all my choices here. So I want to press up, up, down, left, right. I don't have a second one, so I'm just going to hold it here, hold it here, hold it, hold it, go A, B, X, Y, down here to my start, start, that's my select key that I've chosen, page up and down, that's my L button, my R button. I don't have anything for L2, that's similar to the bumpers that you'd see on like a Xbox controller or something. I don't have any of these ones. Now your hotkey, that's very important. Here's my hotkey, look I even put a little star on it. Press hotkey, done. Then I can go here, press OK, done. And you do the same thing for your second player controller. I'm not going to do that right now because it's already set up. And then you are good to go for any of your gaming. So I can go ahead and pick something. I should really wipe the fingerprints off of here. And then you're good to go. So happy gaming. Remember, measure twice, cut once. I hope this was helpful. Uh, subscribe, like, check out the full build video. I'll put a link in the description. Enjoy.